Hi, it's Kelly here, and I got a lot of responses to my, my last remarks, so I thought I'd shoot this video for you to show you that, in fact, I can touch my face and not get sick. You know, we've been told not to touch our eyes, ears, nose, mouth to avoid the flu, right? And it's, information is incorrect, and I've demonstrated by shooting this video about 60 times now like this. And so here we go. I'm going to take this, uh, this mouse, rub my hands on it, keyboard, get my hands good and full of viruses in my hair, share everything, right? Lots of viruses there, right? Look at this. Mmm, they're delicious. Oh, look, what's this in my nose? Oh, my finger was just in my nose and now it's in my eyes. Amazing. I've been doing this 60 times the last four months just to show you. Just to show you what, how ridiculous it is what they've been telling you. If you know how to keep your membrane potential up. Because it's your membrane potential that protects you from the flu. You see, with those 380 trillion viruses that we have, our body has to have an efficient way to repel the viruses. And it does. The membrane potential is negatively charged. The viruses all have, all of them have negative needles, negatively charged needles. They cannot get into the cell as long as your cells are healthy, as long as you have an adequate membrane potential. Now, people still get the flu, right, because, you know, because of bad diet that lowers membrane potential. A lot of stress can lower membrane potential. And Wi-Fi and 5G, cell phones and, and microwaves and uh, smart beaters, I call them, smart meters, smart beaters, they all tend to lower your membrane potential. And that helps to explain why, you know, in the recent years, we've seen an elevated level of, of the flu deaths going on. I think it was three years ago, there was about 80,000. This year, the CDC stopped counting at, 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 in April, mid-April, and they started fudging the numbers. They used to have a ratio, like a 50% like ratio between low deaths and high death estimates. Then they went to 250%, you know, but it's like, so they could keep the bottom number low and count, and they would report the lower number, but the higher number was up to 50,000, and now we got a total of about 185,000 deaths attributed to COVID or the flu this year. So why? Well, 5G and, and Wi-Fi and all the others lower membrane potential. And how do they do that? Because in our, in our uh, voltage-gated calcium channel, voltage-gated cell channels where the electrolytes come through, they get repelled by the 5G and by the Wi-Fi. And so not all of the uh, magnesium gets to where it needs to go. Well, you need magnesium to activate your ATP. And ATP is what gives you your membrane, a strong membrane potential. So those things, the more you're on your phone, the more you're on your computer, the more you're on this, that, and the other, you're lowering your membrane potential. Music, you know, it, it's just, I, I could go on and on. But you got the idea. I can do this. And I've been doing it for months. Some people out there think I don't know what I'm talking about. Really? Really? You're going to stick with that? How, how, how long are you going to stick with that? It looks foolish. You're looking really foolish to do that. You take care. God bless.